Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. The government is pledging improvements to the local network of tax offices across the country, speaking at the launch of the government's $20,000 one-off tax credit to taxpayers earning under $3 million annually. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark said tax offices are currently not fit for purpose. Our tax offices are inadequate in their size, in their internal space, and in their parking arrangements. With the volume of transactions that takes place in our tax offices, this often means that they are overcrowded. As Minister, the medium-term solution is a build-out of over 11 revenue centers and tax offices at a cost of over $12 billion. But this is medium term because it will take up to five years to get this completed. He says the Constant Spring Tax Office is an example of a revenue center. We're going to have one like that in Portmore. We're going to have one like that in Mandeville. And we're going to have one like that in Montego Bay. And in addition to that, there will be renovations and new tax offices in other areas. But as I said, this is over the medium term. And this will decisively deal with the inadequacy of space and parking. But we can't rest on the medium term solution alone. We are also implementing shorter term solutions. And that is to move transactions or the opportunity for more transactions onto the digital arena, digital space. And motor vehicle registrations accounting for up to 50, more than 50% of the transactions in tax offices gives us an opportunity for a substantial improvement in the customer experience. Some news on the economy now. Jamaica earned 61.4 million U.S. dollars more from mining, and, from mining and quarrying exports for the first five months of the year. In its latest international merchandise trade bulletin, the Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin said these exports were valued at 290.8 million U.S. dollars. For January to May 2023, exports in that category earned the country 229.4 million U.S. dollars. Statin says the 2024 income was due mainly to the 39.2% an increase in alumina earnings, which were valued at 260.8 million US dollars, compared to 187.4 million US dollars last year. The value of bauxite exports, however, decreased by 15.5 percent to 25.2 million US dollars. Let's head to the markets now. Banks and cambios are selling the American dollar for an average $158.82. $117.66 is the average value of the Canadian dollar. $207.98 is the going rate for the pound, while the euro is trading for $174.99. The JSC main index increased by 1,279 points today, while the junior market index went up by 15 points. Among the 46 winners were JMB Group 5.5% preference shares, Epley 7.25% shares, along with its 7.5% preference shares, Margaritaville Turks and MFS Capital Partners. The 24 decliners were led by Mayberry Jamaican Equities, Iron Rock Insurance Company, Paramount Trading Jamaica, Wigton Wind Farm and JFP. Six stocks held firm. And that's the business day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.